Hey ladies and gents, Pixel Eye Dev here. Hey, making a video top lane Garen against Aurelia. Should be a good matchup for us. We're going to do our recommended Dorian Shield start. Um, I did not take second win this game. I actually took um, uh, extra tenacity, so unflinching uh, with conditioning. So we're going to have to play it somewhat safe in the beginning of the game. Let her push in the lane to us so she can't uh, all in me. And we'll just wait till I can get level 6 and ignite and kill her. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. So after getting my items, the first thing I like to do is to go to this tri bush. Um, especially with the Q speed up, I can get there faster than they can if I leave right after the gate opens. And I can usually tell if they leash here or not. If they come through this path here, I know that they just got done leashing, especially if the timing is the waves already close to here or so. If they show up in lane without going through the tri bush, it means that they started down here at uh, their blue. And they are. Invading, okay. And that's fine. Um, hopefully we don't make any mistakes here and die. It's a good little early game skirmish. We just don't want to get caught here. Means they're probably going to be starting their blue. I'm going to be wasting my time here. She's going to go back into lane. Um, probably pretty soon, actually. I don't want to push this too much. I'm just going to last hit. And that'll give me the ability now to let her push in pretty easily. I'll regen. I'm not concerned with the damage there. That stops your trading potential. When you do a Q after she engages on you, it shuts down pretty quickly. I don't know if it completely stops all of her um, uh, stacks when you Q. I don't think it does. I just did that. She had three stacks. So that'd be cool if it did. But it does prevent her from following up with another Q. We're just going to focus on CS. If we can get a CS lead, we'll get a lane lead. And then when I get enough items, I'll be able to, to go in with her after I get a couple points in 2E. Yeah! Okay. First blood was given to us. Mid lane, that's good. We're just going to freeze this here while she's not here. It's fine. If she does that again, I can probably all in her with my ignite. She does have ignite too, so I gotta be mindful of that. And we're just gonna keep this frozen here with four minions. Either way, she leaves a lane to go back. She's gonna lose a lot of CS, lose a lot of experience, and then I'll get the level lead on her to six first. And my level 6 with her level 5 is going to allow me to win lane. Okay, that broke my freeze. Now we're going to start pushing into her. We have a huge minion lead here, so if she goes in on me, she's going to take some extreme amounts of damage. Yeah, good setup for level six. All right, that'll work. Didn't have to flash there, but I want to try to get out of her hitbox. If he doesn't pick this up, she doesn't have teleport. I think there's going to be a lot of a lot of missing CS here. That's huge though, even if I die 1v1, she's missing all that experience. So that's huge for me. Oops. 
that. Probably going bot. Now she's trying to do the same thing, but she doesn't. She can't do it. She's already killed too many minions. Yeah, it was a really bad trade for her. She had no stacks. I'll die. You have been slain. This set up perfectly for me. I'll, once I get back to lane, I'm going to have it there sitting there because it's slowly pushing to me. <clears throat> now, I could have gone um, steel plated. Boots, taking a lot less damage from her, but um, I like doing the additional damage because it helps me CS. It helps me to um, create momentum towards mid game and just going tanky the whole time, not really doing any damage. That was a good trade. I'll heal up. She's not going to so much. Yes, these are pots. And I'll just freeze it right here again, like we did before. Uh, looks like our yeast getting fed a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, that's probably game right there. Doesn't matter how good I do, if I can't kill, if he just in one shot half our team. That's really dumb of her. She had no stacks. She has no stacks. She doesn't do damage. I didn't have to use my ignite, so I'll have it up for the next time. push this in so that she gets very little experience out of this wave. See, I'm level 8 to her 7 now. I'm almost level 9. Actually, she's going to stay here. Wait for those stacks to fall off. He's a Paisy. Yeah, he's gonna be a problem. We are the Shut down. Thank you.
Let's go. Alrighty. I almost got the tower though. Okay, now I've got my main damage item. I can go black, but I really don't need to go black. I, I'm gonna kill her. She'll be a little harder to kill without uh, black cleaver. But if honestly, if I go um, just AD right now, uh, anti-AD, just pick up some armor, I think that'll be really, really beneficial for me. Um, so I'm gonna go and pick up at least the Bramble Vest. Then let me get my gear off. Uh, we don't have rift. Go get rift, dude. I'm just gonna continue farming. They really can't do crap to me. Alright, so I've got a really good lead right now. I've got a lot of CS, um, 105, which is, god, double hers. Um, let me go ahead and push in. I really feel like playing around mid is a good thing right now. Um, I need to just push in bot, get bot tower.
Probably you kill both of them right there. And go back down and kill him. Now pushing bot lane. And we'll push that in, we'll rotate, take any camps or objectives in this area. Protect it from being farmed out, clear vision, and then we'll rotate mid. Okay, I'll go back. I have two grand here. Fear not. I'm An ally has been slain. Don't. Has been slain. Just say don't die on that. So I'll back off. He does a tremendous amount of damage, and when I'm able to attack, she's going to CC the heck out of me. Never forget one. Going mid. I'm going this way. Get it, just grab it. Just get it, dude. Easy peasy. Now take this out. I have Bramble Vest, that's why. I like that extra tenacity on that rune, it's really nice. Gets me out of stones, gets me out of other things super duper fast.
<laughs> Ignite. <laughs> okay, guys. I need to heal up. I need to go back. I have a lot of gold. He's 0 7, I couldn't worry about it. against him, but this will be a good item to get. Randuin's own, reduce the critical strike chance. That's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and push in Smitar. Let's do it. Go, on, ladies. I'm gonna go push it in this way down here. I would like to be carried, guys. God, that's nasty. So clean. I'm a good force of nature. Um, actually, I want Warmogs. Just because I want to get back into the fight if I take damage. And that's probably the best way of doing it. And they surrendered. Okay. It wasn't going to take much. Alright, ladies and gents. You've seen it. The new t uh, tenacity build for Garen. Um, just a small adjustment. Really goes a long ways to maintaining your momentum. Uh, maintaining your tempo and maintaining your um, KDA and if you like the gameplay please let me know by liking the video uh, commenting down below subscribing to the channel for more content in the future and as always um, appreciate you watching the video all right god bless have a good one